This horse got bit in the neck a while ago by a buddy of his. Um, and we've been doctoring the wound really well, but it's not healing quite right. So closer examination showed that there are some little granulomas or, or summer sores in there. Um, we call habernema. Um, so we're going to block it and cut some of that stuff out of there and then we should get a much better healing process after that. Uh, worm or nematode larva. Putting a little local anesthetic along with some steroid in here to we'll block and decrease inflammation before we get to scraping on this thing. These are always trying to start on the bottom and work my way up so you're not bleeding all over your field. You really do with pretty much anything you're doing. Just think about where where gravity's gonna take your stuff. Right now we're debriding some of this necrotic tissue and taking some of these little inflammatory granulomas or basically inflammatory clumps of nasty stuff. But you can see a nice big one right there, a nice big one right there. Um, right in here. So sometimes they're called sulfur granules or basically it's a collection of uh, worm or nematode larva and inflammatory cells or immune cells kind of cluster together and while those things are in there, this wound is not going to heal well. So we want to get all that nasty dead inflammatory tissue out of there to promote better healing. If we don't get this nasty stuff out of here, basically it's not going to heal. It's going to continue getting worse. Sometimes they'll look like they're healing and they'll kind of skin over only to have these little spots kind of erupt again. But basically you got to get this stuff out if you want resolution of these. Like we take this surface layer off. Like little ones in there that were hiding underneath that. So after we finished up our debriding there, we've got a summer sore mix. So it's a mix of different medications that we make up in-house. Um, it'll help prevent secondary infections. It'll help to actually kill um, those little nematode larvae that are in there that are causing that inflammatory response. So you kind of debulk it, try and get all the nasty stuff out of there, and then you go to a um, topical treatment. And then I also use oral systemic ivermectin on these guys, pretty much a, a full dose weekly until we get resolution.